in, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's wait. Hello, Sonia. Hello. Okay. You have a new gadget today, Sonia. Uh, no, I uh, just sing in Zoom. Ah, okay. Sing up, sorry. Very good. Okay, friends, so please switch on your video so we can see each other and we can start. <coughs> Okay. Yeah. Sonia, you don't have video? Susha? Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, there we go. Uh, so, these are your results from the last <coughs> week. As we can see, Sophie Dinerstein is still the first. And Oli and Sophie Tamaiva are getting just better and better week by the week. Very good news, very good news that um, as well as Samir, okay? So that's good, keep going, keep going friends, okay? Keep going. So that's for today, for today's results. And there we go with the lesson, all right? So the lesson today is about writing a story. So by the end of the lesson, you'll have a story. So let's see who is here today. Not so many people today here, but it's okay. That's enough. Okay. So we have Aisha, Ira. So Aisha, your number is one. Remember your number, okay? You are number one. Ira, number two. Uh, Sonia Dinerstein, number three. Darina, four. Susha five, uh, Vosal six. So the students, does everyone has a number now? It's Do you all have your numbers? Personal Samir, number? not Vosal. Ah, Samir, yes, yeah. Samir. Samir, okay. Samir, do you have a number now? Do you know your number? <coughs> six, yes. Okay, good. So we have six students. So look at this picture, okay. Look at this picture, friends. Uh, I want you to describe it. I want you to describe it for one minute. To, to tell me what you can see on this picture. But I don't want you to stop for one minute. Okay? But who is going to talk about the picture for one minute will decide the spinner. Okay? So let us see. Let us see this spinner. Okay, okay. Can you see it? Yeah? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes, okay. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, number one is going to describe the picture. Lucky you, Aisha, lucky you. So, tell us what you can see on the picture. Describe as many details as you can. Also, you have to speculate what, uh, what might be happening. Okay, what do you think is going on? Okay, start, please. At the picture, I see big uh, pocket uh, who uh, take uh, an uh, doors, I think, uh, from, from the woman's uh, bag. Uh, we can see that uh, uh, this situation is in the street. Uh, maybe uh, our woman uh, walk uh, to go home or or to the work. Uh, we can't season. Uh, we can't uh, see any uh, 
people in the street. Uh, I think maybe it's spring or autumn because there are not no snow and it uh, don't look like summer. Oh, Aisha, that was really good. Really good. Give me a high five. Yeah, that was amazing. Wow, good job. Aisha, you are ready for B1 preliminary exam speaking, really. That was amazing. Really, so, uh, really good, really good. I don't have to add something. Okay, so, uh, this picture demonstrates a story. And the name of the story is Hero for a Day, okay? Hero for a Day. So, what do you think the story will be about? Uh, remember what Aisha has described and the title of the story, Hero of a Day, and think, what can the story be about, okay? So, let's spin and decide who will talk about this. So, who will say, uh, Nastya is here, hello Nastya. Oh Hello. no, that's not honest. Come on, we don't have only Aisha. No, let's let's spin it again. Yeah, number four. Good. So, friends, who is number four? I. Uh, who is I? Darina. Darina, very good. So, Darina, your task is to think what is the story will be about. Think of the picture. Uh. Think of the name. The name of the story is Hero for a Day. <laughs> so what do you think the story will be about? Uh, if we have a picture and the name of story Hero for a Day, uh, we can uh, think that uh, uh, someone uh, wants to uh, uh, pickpocketing uh, uh, something uh, uh, from the back, uh, but uh, one uh, girl or man can uh, help uh, to prevent, uh, yes, to prevent, to stop prevent. the crime. Yes, you are absolutely yes. right. You are absolutely right. Very good, Darina. That's right. You are absolutely right. So, uh, the story is about a girl, her name is Ellen, and she helped someone and to, to not get pickpocketed, yeah? So, there we go. Um, exactly, exactly the name is here. Can you see? Yes. Samir, can you read aloud the answer? Uh, a story about someone who prevents Prevents. prevents prevents a pickpocketing or helps to catch a pickpocket. That's right. So prevent, Esamir, what is prevent? Can you say it in Russian? What is it? Uh, I don't know. Who help maybe. Who? Prevent. Pre uh -huh. To prevent a pickpocketing, to stop it from happening. So that's really interesting to know what is it in Russian. So let me let me check my dictionary. Prevent. Prevent. In Russian, it says предотвращать. Okay? So please write this new word in your copybook because that's really useful. And you will see it later many, many times. And we usually uh, use it in a kind of a negative context, like prevent a crime, prevent cheating, this kind of things. Yeah? For example, why are we staying at home now? Samir, can you answer my question using the words prevent? Why all of us are staying at home now? Uh, because in the world, uh, 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 COVID-19, and if you, if you, you know, want to prevent, uh, this pandemic, we need to stay at home. Absolutely right. Thank you so much. Samir was sound. If, if I, if I was, yes, Samir has a sound today. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. I, if I was, if I could see you, I would give you a high five. Amazing answer. Thank you so much. Yeah. So, 
we are staying at home to prevent the spread of this disease. To prevent the spread of this disease. Okay, thank you. I think you are done with the new word. So, now we are going to read Ellen's story. And I want you to think of the better name of this story. Maybe uh, another name, okay? But think of another name, please. So, this is your student's book, page 35, if you want to use your book. Or you can see it from my screen. Uh, okay? So, uh, friends, I'll give you only two minutes. I'll give you only two minutes to read and to think of the better title, okay? Or the better name of the story. When you are ready, please uh, type your new title in the chat box here in Zoom. Okay, so when you are ready with the new name, with the new title, please tap chat, uh, type it in the chat box. Mm, who is the first one? Susha, good name. <laughs> Unlucky pickpocket. Yeah, why not? Yeah, it's an interesting name. Yeah, good. So I'm waiting for your answers, friends, in the chat box, please. Uh, now say it's time to write the answer. Yeah, what do you think is the better name, maybe, or another name, a possible name? Oh, Sophie Tamayva is here. Sophie, hello. Sophie Tamayva, switch on your camera and sound so we can see you, we can hear you. I can um Okay. switch my camera but i can <laughs> talk yeah so we are working on writing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are working on writing uh, page 35 in your student's book or you can just follow us uh, from the screen if it's convenient and comfortable for you mm -hmm. oh, ksusha has two names the oh. arena's title of the story help friend well, this is an article, you know, an article. So an, an article should have very interesting name to grab people's attention. Heroes holiday, yeah, maybe, why not, yeah. Situation in a school trip, why not, yeah, could be, mm -hmm. could be, thank you. So I'm waiting for Samir's answer and uh, that in I have, Samir, Nastya, looking for your answers. Well, I would say, I would say uh, like something like a brave girl, maybe. Dead walk. Uh, what do you mean? Ah, bad walk. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, could be. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, okay. Nastya, your name, please. And then we move forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see you type in something. All right. Okay, so crazy trip, yeah, why not, yeah? That's a good name for the article, actually, yeah, good. So, okay, uh, exercise three, we are moving forward, okay? So here is the prepare to write box, a story. When you write a story, make sure there is a beginning, middle, and end of the story, right? So then you give the story an interesting title. So that's why we're thinking about another title. Use verbs in the past simple and past continuous. 
Use adjectives and adverbs to make your story interesting. So I think this is quite obvious and we know about that. Now, exercise three. I would like you to order the events, yeah? To order the events and to tell me which of them are happened in the beginning, in the middle and in the end of the story, okay? So, uh huh. Uh, Sonia Dinerstein, I'm giving you the mouse and you're going to do this exercise. Okay. So, uh, just a moment, just a moment. There you go. Okay. So, please arrange it in order. So, Sonia, while you are arranging, tell us, please, is it about the beginning, the middle, or the end? So, the coach left school. This is? Uh, switch on your sound, please. Unmute your sound. Why? Why? Wait a minute, Sophie. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sonia, unmute your sound now, okay? And I'll give you the mouse back. Okay. Oh, good. I can hear you now. Okay. So while you are arranging um, sentences, tell me, are they about the beginning, the middle? Uh, I, I think the first sentence is the coach left school, but I can't... Uh, you can't move it. Uh, move okay, it. I can. I can. Yes. Okay, next one. After that was the uh, sentence, uh, Ellen got off the coach. Ellen got off the coach. So, um, like this? Yes, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, uh, Ellen saw the pickpocket. Mm -hmm. uh, then... Uh, the police caught the pickpocket. The story operated on the internet. Appeared. 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 Uh, appeared значит, появилась, появилась, appeared. Mm -hmm. Okay, so which of these are from for the beginning of the story? What? Which see. sentence is about the beginning of the story? Which event is the beginning? Which event is the middle of the story? Which event is the end of the story? Uh, uh, the beginning is the coach left school. Okay. The middle is Ellen saw the big pocket, and the end is the result of that uh, story ap ap appeared on the internet. Okay, but there are two events that you did not mention. Ellen got off the coach, and the police caught the pocket, big pocket. So these mm -hmm. are from which part of the story? It is between uh, Ellen got or the cold. Yeah, so this is still the middle of the story, what I want to say. Yeah, yeah. this is still the middle of the story. Yeah, so uh, the beginning is the coach left school. Then you have three events, the middle of the story. And then you have one final event, which is the end of the story. The story appeared on the mm -hmm. internet. Okay, so that's what I mean. Yeah, that's what I mean. So we have done that, okay, yeah, uh, or they suggest us this, okay, so um, there is mm -hmm. another idea about that. Ksusha, are you working from the computer? Oh, yes. Okay, so then mm -hmm. I'm giving you the mouse and you try to move these events okay. to the boxes, okay? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, can you did <laughs> what minute? Uh, what's wrong? I don't understand. <laughs> okay, quiet, just quiet. Okay, don't worry, just quiet and wait. Mm -hmm. So it's okay, don't worry, everything is working, everything is fine. No worries, no worries. Okay, so I think we have done this, so let us skip this. One, okay, and the next one. 
let's move to the language. Okay. So, um, how many verbs can you find in past simple and past continuous? Okay. So, friends, uh, now I want you to choose. Someone is making a lot of noise. Someone is making a lot of noise. So I'll switch off your sound. And when I ask you, please switch on your sound. All right. So uh, now uh, I'm giving you the mouse highlight. Okay. And you're going to highlight it, for example, went. Okay. Just click on it, actually. Just click on it. I went. We left. So and you highlight all the past simple and all past continuous. So uh, one person is doing it here on the screen and other highlighting in their uh, students' books. Okay. So we do it in. Uh, we must highlight all verbs. Uh, past simple and past continuous only. Okay. Past simple mm -hmm. and past continuous. Ira, you've got the mouse now. So please start clicking on the verbs. Past simple and past continuous. Ira. Ira, can you hear me? Are you here? When uh, it's uh, past simple. I know, Ira, please highlight. Дальше выделяй, Ира, нажимай на все глаголы, выделяй. I don't know how, how to do that. Do okay. this. So, uh, сначала надо принять мою мышку. Он там тебе сейчас высветилось что-то на экране. Высветилось? Uh, не вижу ничего доверительного. Там высвечивается мышка и говорит тебе принять мышку, управление мышкой. Вот так вот. И нарисована моя мышка. Тебе надо на нее нажать. Ничего не понимаю. Окей. Okay. Uh, so maybe you can try it later with your mom, because she knows how to do that. Окей? Okay? So, Софья Тамаева, you have a go. Oh, okay. Um, All what I want from you now is just to click on the verbs, okay? Verbs in past simple and past continuous. Just click. Arrived. No, click. You click. You've got my mouse. I want you to click. Yeah. Arrived. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Uh, past simple. Or and past continuous, yeah. Both, yeah, both, please. Uh, was feeling. Okay, click on it. Yeah, click. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, I was getting. Was getting. Yeah. Okay. Noticed. Mm -hmm. Um. Was standing. Okay. Oh. Okay, I can help. Mm -hmm. uh, realized. Okay. Sophie, click, click. Move your, move your mouse. Click. Don't be afraid. It's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Sorry. Was happening. Okay. Was trying. That's right. My friend back. Shouted. Good. Heard. Mm -hmm. Looked. Mm -hmm. Started. Yeah. Mm. Or. Okay, um, maybe I have a question, maybe uh, uh, there were two Absolute, police officers. No, yeah, this is past simple, yeah. you're absolutely right, yes. Uh, run. Yeah, ran, Sonushka, ran, okay. Ran, ran. Mm -hmm. ran. Uh, caught him. Mm -hmm. Was. Was talking. Mm -hmm. Was. Good. Uh, there is one verb missed in the first paragraph. 
can you go back please and check there is one verb missed in the paragraph in the first paragraph took thank you that's right now click on check please yes okay yeah там случайно выделены слова friends. No, it's okay. Yeah, thank you. It's fine. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's okay. Thank you. Yeah, случайно выделили. Yes, no problem. За ошибку нам не засчитали. Woohoo! Thank you, Sophie. That's right. Okay, Darina. Now I want you to comment why we have these words in in past simple or past perfect. Look, I went. We left. The journey took. We arrived. Why, uh, Darina? We have it in past simple. Why? Uh, exactly. What? The main events, основные действия. That's right. Very good. Основные действия, main events. И они идут один за другим, да? То есть один за другим. Когда мы перечисляем все это, это все время past simple, right? Samir, was feeling why it's past continuous. It was a process. Yeah, it's not only once we felt exhausted. Druk tak. No, they were feeling exhausted. Yes, that's right. Aisha, while I was getting off the coach, I noticed a man. So, why you have here past continuous and here past simple? Aisha, switch on your sound. Uh, because uh, was getting is a process and it's it. And noticed it? Uh, uh, yes, yeah. interruption, exactly, very interruption. good. Interruption, very good, that's right, okay. So, uh, the man was trying to steal. So again, it's a process, okay? So when you write the story, you need to use minimum two tenses, all right? Thank you, so we are done with this, all right? So friends, is it clear enough why you need to do that, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now yes. let's see this one. Let's see highlighted words, okay? So some of them are adjectives and some of them are adverbs, okay? So uh, Sophie Dinerstein, can you tell me the difference between the adjectives and adverbs? You can say in English, if you can't, then use Russian. I can say it. Okay, Aisha, have a go. Uh, it, adverbs, it's uh, with a uh, li, like, um, uh, unluckily, like quietly, uh, and adjectives, it's uh, to describe uh, in uh, noun. Uh, noun. And adverbs to describe? To... Verbs. Uh, verbs, okay. Uh, adverbs, verbs. they describe verbs. Aisha was shouting loudly, okay? So we describe how she shouted. Yeah, so we describe the adverb. Uh, the music was loud. So here we describe the adjective, the noun. Very good, Aisha. Give me high 10, please. Not high five, high 10. I like it. That's really, really good. All right, so now let's see which are adjectives and which are adverbs, okay? So, uh, Darina, I'll give you the mouse and you try. Darina, do you work from the phone or from the computer? And uh, from, the ah, from the phone. So then it will be difficult for you to do. All right. So Samir, you have a go then. I. Who is I? Who says I? I. Who? Aisha. Aisha. Okay. So just a moment, Aisha. Yeah. We'll give that chance to Samir. You have a go.
Okay, click on check, please. Very good, very good. High five, high five, positive. Super, very good, thank you. Okay. Give me my mouse. Give me my mouse. Thank you, okay. Uh, okay, so just, just a moment, friends. I want to switch on this screaming sound. I don't know who has it. Uh, okay, so I'll switch Nastya's just sound. Okay, so friends, as you can see, early, yeah, early can be an adjective and can be an adverb. For example, early morning, ранние утро. Why are you calling me at five o'clock? It's early morning. So I describe the morning, but I also can use it to describe how. For example, uh, Samir came early to the lesson. So here it's an adverb. Can you think of other words like this that could be both adjective and adverb? Unmute your sound and say this word if you can remember. So the words which are both adjectives and adverbs and they don't change. Like lucky, luckily, they change. But early, early, no difference. Can you think fast. of some more example? Fast, good, very good, fast. And one more. Fast. Good, wow, I love you so much, amazing, that's right. So friends, when you put these kind of adjectives, these kind of adverbs in your story, it makes it interesting to read, okay? So please, when you will read a story today, use some of these words, okay? You don't need to use all of them, but you need to, to um, but you need to use some of them, okay? So, very good, very good. Now, we are having something interesting, okay? Luke. I like interesting things. Yeah, we all like it, okay. So, a number six, okay? Darina, can you read it aloud for us, please? The instructions of number six. Just read. Uh, Darina, unmute your sound, please. Mm -hmm. uh, you are going to write a story which must begin with sentences. Why I was closing my curtains one night, I noticed something unusual. Plan the events in, in, in your story. Use the questions to help. Okay, yeah. so there are four questions, okay? Where does this take place? So you need to think, uh, like maybe in the room, in uh, where is it yeah uh, maybe in rome maybe in moscow maybe it's uh, in the forest where is it but it should be a house because you have curtains but you need to think of the place maybe it's in your living room bedroom kitchen whatever the second question what happens at the beginning what did you notice notice something unusual but what is this so you need to come up with the idea and what are the main events so you need to have minimum six things like I noticed, uh, I don't know, a fat cat. He jumped out, uh, he jumped off the tree. He uh, entered my window. He broke my vase, whatever. So you need to uh, write five, six events, what happens. And then you need to write the end. Very short, like um, I was scared and I had a heart attack and uh, I went to um, the hospital, okay? So very, very brief information I want you to write now, okay? So very brief, it should look, friends, it should look like this, like about this plan, can you see Ellen's plan, yeah? So you don't need to write the story now, you write the plan, where is it? what happens at the beginning, what exactly you see, what's the main event, and what will happen at the end. So is it clear enough that now I want you to write a short plan, okay? But we are going to do that in pairs, okay? So I will now connect you all to the session rooms, okay? I don't know who will be your partner, and you don't know, so, but you need to work together. 
and you need to decide these four things, four questions, okay? So you need to open your book. If you don't have the book, then you need to take a photo of these questions because when you enter the session rooms, you won't see the uh, questions, okay? So you have five minutes to decide about this, only five minutes. When your five minutes are over, I will tell you what we're going to do next. So please don't write this story now. Just plan it shortly, briefly answering these questions. So uh, are we okay with the instructions? We all know what to do? Okay, so let me and arrange you to the bathroom. One, three, four, five. I think I need like five rooms, four rooms. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So just a second. Okay. Friends, you do need to speak English, of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there you go. Настя, Настя, ты должна принять приглашение войти в зал и с Соней работать. Аиша, принимай приглашение, работай в зале. Окей. Okay. Аиша, я тебя назначаю к Софи Тамаевой, окей? Okay. Go.
Okay, friends, welcome back. Welcome back. Darina, Semir, did you manage to talk together? Yes. Yes, okay, good. So you have your plan? Hmm? Yes. So maybe we will have two minutes. <laughs> Two minutes more? Yes. Ah, yes. You want to have two minutes more. Yeah. Well, friends, we don't have time, okay? We don't have time. I want to, I, I know that you, you want to talk to each other. Sophie Tamaiva, your partner was Aisha, but she had a problem with the, um, mm -hmm. the computer, okay? So, what oh. I am going to do is the following. Demir and Darina, is your plan ready? Uh, not all. Yes. Okay, yeah. so uh, so which, which pair do you have? So give me give me your name, please. Who was your partner? Okay, so that was Semir Darina. Yes. Okay, who was your partner? Nastya, switch on your sound. Sonia. Sonia. Kakaya. Do you understand? Okay, no. I see. Sophie plus Aisha. And Ira. Ira, you work with Kusha, right? Yes. Very yes. So let's do it as following. Now, friends, you exchange your plans. Okay. You will have like two, three minutes to finish it because Miss Irina will um till she finished this group and will send you the link. So you have time, okay, to send your plan to another group. So, you will not write the story according to your plan. You will write the story according to plan of each other, okay? So, Nastya and uh, Sonia Dinerstein, you give your plan to Samir and Darina. And okay. where we must send it? In uh, uh, chat? It's up to you. You can say it on WhatsApp, you can send it on VK, it's all right, okay? Okay. So, and the same for Samir and Darina. So, Samir and Darina, you write the plan of Nastya and Sonia, okay? Sophie, Aisha, when your plan is ready, when your plan is ready, you exchange it with Ira and Susha, okay? So, and you write Okay. It, and next time, next Wednesday, we will see your stories. But please, send me your stories on Tuesday. So I can check them for mistakes, okay? And then on Wednesday, okay. we will read them all together. Is it okay, friend? Is it yes, clear enough okay. what to do? Sonia, can you repeat, please, what, how you are going to write the stories? Sonia, did you repeat, please, mm -hmm. how you are going uh, to write the stories? We wrote a plan for uh, another group. Yeah. group. And uh, then uh, send their story for us, and in pair we must write a story for their plan. And uh, Samir, when you are going to send it to me? Thank you. Okay, so clear enough. Thank you very much. That's all from me today. Goodbye.